Yeah, all that's going on. All this? Holy jumpers. Joel Lance here today. We're in Sarasota, Florida, a place called Rico's Pizzeria. So that's our Rico's Pizzeria, guys. And today, you know what we're doing? We're eating pizza. Imagine that, eating pizza out of pizzeria. So this is their big, massive Rico's Pizza Challenge. There might be another name for it. But anyway, so Extreme Pizza Challenge. I think that's what it's called. So essentially, it is a 12-pound pizza. It's a team pizza. If you win, you got 150 bucks. Super cool. And the meal for free. Here are my good friend, Mr. Dan Killer Kennedy. So today, we're going to eat that pizza, hopefully get some money, win some cash, hopefully get that free pizza. Should be good. So what's crazy about this pizza is it actually has six full pounds of toppings on it. Yes, that's right. So you get your six pounds of dough. Then you have six full pounds of toppings. So that is definitely going to be interesting because I have a feeling it's going to be like two inches of topping. It's gonna be interesting. But let's head on into so we do have some fun. Let's eat a crazy pizza. All right, everyone, so here we are. Here's the challenge, looks very, very big. So a big old pizza, guys, six pounds of toppings on it. We went with ham, tomatoes, onions, green peppers, trying to be as healthy as we can. Uh, feel free to ask about my pickle in the comments down below. And so yeah, we uh, are gonna cut it ourselves, actually. So I think we're gonna do squares. Uh, we both like squares, and that's the best way to do it. And now we're about to get started. Dan, ready to speak? Pizza, pizza. Let's eat some pizza. So uh, we're gonna get started here. Let's say, uh, I think restaurant's ready, we're ready, they have a timer. Got it. So how do we start? Let's say the count of five, four, it's very, very, looks really good. It does look good. Three, two, Dan, cut the pieces, there you it go. Is. One, let's go. Eat the pizza. Enjoy. Awesome. The, uh, Aren't allowed to dunk anything. Okay. I'd be really good shot on. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're down here at Rico's Pizza. Yes, that's right guys. So Sarasota, Sarasota area, Florida. So my first time on this side of Florida. Really, really cool. I've only ever been to the Miami area before, so I was super excited to get onto the west coast of Florida. Um, they that side is i've always heard had the best beaches and i will say like i've been to, i went to the fort myers area etc in this area and everything was very 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 beautiful guys so i will say very lovely i like florida uh, so back to this pizza <clears throat> so for this challenge it was a 12 pound pizza challenge yes that is right it definitely a big one so there was a six pound uh, piece of dough then cheese sauce and then we had the six pounds of toppings. They did weigh out the toppings, which I thought was really nice. So again, we're getting a consistent challenge, the same with the weight of the dough. Um, so again, I gave a lot of credit to restaurants that are consistent with their challenges. We went with pretty much all the veggie toppings, as I mentioned, with the addition of ham. Um, it definitely added a lot of moisture to the pizza, which was in tune inadvertently uh, quite beneficial. Um, not the not a strategic move, but really just my preferences, like my preferences and Dan's preferences. Um, we both like green peppers, um, onions, and ham. Uh, I think they're really some of the best food challenge pizza toppings. Yeah, the first pack. Everything wet. Yeah. <laughs> nice we had a few friends that had completed this before, uh, one being Randy Santel. Uh, we also had a myth Mr. Nathan Figueroa do this as well. So pretty cool. Always nice to kind of end up in some of the locations, some of the spots that our friends have before, especially if you've kind of, you know, saw them do it at the time, you saw the video. It's, you know, sometimes you're like, hey, I bet I could do that or I'd like to try that one day. And ultimately, here we are. So of course, we are also chasing a cash prize, which is really awesome. Um, interestingly, with this challenge, actually, let me tell you something which was quite surprising to us. It's about two and a half minutes in. It's going really well. Very, very delicious. Dan, right to your tell Dan to pick it up. He's going to go with ham. But it's very good pizza. <laughs> I 
that crap will wreck you. <laughs> so we actually queried about uh, potentially doing this challenge solo and they said you're not allowed. So for this challenge you have to have two partners. You cannot do it solo, you cannot do it under any other circumstances, you have to have two people. And the next most interesting thing, in fact I would say probably the most different thing compared to any other pizza challenge I've had before, is you're not allowed any additional sauces, you're not allowed, uh, like you're not allowed to dunk it all, which I can see that, that's totally fine. Like you can't dip your crust or any sort of pizza into water, but you can't even have a sauce. You can have nothing, like no additions, no dipping sauces, no marinara, no nothing. So you really just have to eat the pizza as it's served with no add-ons. Of course, you can have your beverages, which you can use as you please, which of course I would hope. Um, but I will say some challenges don't do that. Definitely stay tuned for that. But again, just kind of you had to eat the pizza as it was, which was totally, totally fine. Here with my friend, Mr. Dan, of course, um, who is a great eater and definitely well-versed in doing pizza challenges. In fact, they're his favorite type of challenge. And man, he crushes them. So great partner to have when doing a team pizza challenge. It's about four minutes in. Not much left. We'll be finished here momentarily. When it came to the actual pizza itself, the overall flavors, as I mentioned already, I actually really enjoyed this pizza. It was my preferred kind of thinner crust. Um, it is a very large diameter, so even with all the dough, they can make it thinner crust. So thinner crust. Um, the sauce was really, really delicious. So I will say this is a pizza that I would say if you're in the area, you want a pizza. It's a cute little joint. Um, again, they have, in my opinion, very solid pizza, and I really have no complaints. So ultimately, guys, here we are. Let's hopefully we can get some cash. No, everybody likes some dollar dollar bills. And if we also won, we got a t-shirt which on the back said, eat my pie, which I think goes really well with my current t-shirt, which is ask me about my pickle. So let me know what you think down below guys and enjoy the rest of the video. I was very actually yeah. like, surprised how good this pizza was. Um, so Rico's guys are in Sarasota, feel free to stop on by. I was trying to delicious. Get those so that I should get 150 bucks and be on free and maybe even t-shirts. So pretty cool. Dan, as always, thank you so much. Absolutely. We have some more eating to do, so we gotta hit the road. But uh, thanks so much everybody and uh, until next time, stay happy, healthy, happy eating. You know what to do. I can't reach, but wait. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day